Here is a very important identity uh, when you're first learning limits about trig limits. And it says that the limit as x approaches zero of sine of x over x equals one. And there are gonna be some problems that you have at the beginning of calculus one where if you don't know this, you cannot solve the problem. Uh, let me give you an example. Um, let's do the limit as x approaches zero of tangent of five x over x. The good thing to do with this is to write tangent as sine over cosine. So tangent is sine of five x over cosine of five x all over x. And here's how I like to do it. I like to split this all up. So this quantity is the same as writing sine of 5x over x times 1 over cosine x. So if you agree with me that this here is just a fancy way of writing that, then we'll be in business. Now the identity says that whatever is in here inside the sign has to also be on the bottom and they both have to be going to zero. So down here, I've got sine of 5x, but I only have x on the bottom. I need to put a 5 here to make this identity work. But I'm not just allowed to divide by 5 right out of the blue. If I divide by 5, I also have to multiply by 5. So from here, I could cancel these 5s and get back to where I started, right? But now this has the benefit of when I take the limit, this part goes to 1 by the identity. Cosine of zero is one, so this becomes five over one. One times five over one is five.